हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली हिट द लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस वन एन अदर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर्टीन हिमलर डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द स्प्रिंग बम्पर इज यूज टू अरेस्ट द मोशन ऑफ द फोर पाउंड ब्लॉक विच इज स्लाइडिंग टूवर्ड इट एट इनिशियल वेलासिटी ऑफ नाइन फीट पर सेकेंड so va is given and this va is 9 feet per second is shown the spring is confined by the plate p so we have here the plate p and wall using cables so that its length is 1.5 feet so this spring is compressed to a length of 1.5 feet with the help of this plate and these cables with the wall and it is said that if the stiffness of the spring is 50 pound per feet determine the required unstretched length so let's say that the unstretched length of the spring is let's say s let's say from here to here this is the unstretched length of the spring let's say the unstretched length is represented by let's say s so initially when the block is at position a the spring is compressed and let's say that compression in the spring is let's say s1 so that s1 will be equal to this s minus this initial length of the spring which is 1.5 feet so this is the initial compression in the spring so Uh, further it is said that uh, determine the required unstretched length of the spring so that the plate is not displaced more than 0.2 feet after the block collides into it neglect friction the mass of the plate and spring and the energy loss between the plate and block during the collision so once this block travels this 5 feet distance it collides with this plate form with this plate and then what it Uh, what it does is that it compresses the spring further and the further compression in the spring is 0.2 feet so let's say that the block collides and then this plate reaches somewhere here let's say that the plate reaches somewhere here and there is further compression and that further compression is 0.2 feet so after the collision let's say that the compression in the spring is let's say s2 so then that will be s uh minus this much length right so this much length this length so this length is 1.5 minus 0.2 this is 1.3 so the after the collision the compression in the spring will be s minus this length so s minus 1.3 is the final compression in the spring after the collision so now if we draw the free body diagram of this block so let's say this is the free body diagram when it just collides with the plate so when it just collides with the plate the spring will apply the force on this block in this direction this is the spring force let's say and the surface will apply the normal force which will be acting in the upward direction and the weight is going to act vertically downward and it is said that neglect friction so there is no friction right so to find this unstretched length of the spring we need to apply the work energy principle so from the work energy principle we can say that the kinetic energy of the block at a plus the summation of the work done from a to b let's say that when when the block reaches here when the plate reaches uh, when the spring is compressed 0.2 feet so then that is our point b so we have to find we have to find the summation of the energies the work done from a to b due to the external forces and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b so at point b this block will come to rest so the velocity at point b will become zero since it is said that the spring bumper is used to arrest the motion so we have to make the velocity of this block equals to zero when this spring is compressed further a distance of 0.2 feet so the kinetic energy at point b will become zero so this will become zero and the kinetic energy at point a is 1 divided by 2 e mass so the weight is given which is 4 so that is 4 divided by 32.2 so this will give us the mass and the initial velocity is 9 feet per second so we will take the square of this 9 plus 
Now as we can see that the block is moving in this direction and the weight and the normal are acting perpendicular to the displacement travel so they are not doing any work. So the only work done is by the spring force. So we have to write that uh, the, the only external force which is doing the work on this block is the spring force. So we have to write that the work done due to the spring force and this will be equal to 0. So now we have to find the spring force. Uh, the the work done due to the spring force. So the work done due to the spring force is always equal to 1 divided by 2 k as 2 square minus 1 divided by 2 k as 1 square. So now we can simplify this. I can take 1 divided by 2 k outside and s2 is this thing which is s minus 1.3 square minus s1 square so s1 is s minus 1.5 square and k is given which is 50 pound per feet so we can write this as 50 so 50 divided by 2 is 25 so we can write this as 25 so we can further simplify this this is 25 this will become s square plus 1.3 square minus 2 into 1.3 into s and this will be minus again this will be s square plus 1.5 square minus 2 into 1.5 into s and if i multiply this minus inside so this will become minus s square this will become minus 1.5 square and this will become plus so this is 25 s square and this s square and this s square will cancel out this will cancel out so we will be left with uh, i will write the s terms first so this is minus 2 into 1.3 s and then 2 into 1.5 is 3 so let me write this is 3 s and then i will write this one plus 1.3 square minus 1.5 square so this is let me find this, this is minus 2 into 1.3 s plus 3 so this is 0 0.4 0 0.4 s and plus uh, 1.3 square minus 1.5 square so this is minus 0 0.56 this is minus 0 0.56 and further we can simplify this 25 into 0.4 will be this will give us 10 this is 10 s minus 25 into 0 0.56 so 25 into 0 0.56 so this is 14 so this is the work done due to the spring force in terms of that unstretched length so now let's say if this is our equation one and now as we can see that the block is moving towards the left the spring force is acting towards the right so this means that the work done due to the spring force is the negative work done so we have to write minus sign in this equation with the work done due to the spring force so now if i simplify this this is uh, 1 divided by 2 into 4 first let me simplify this term so this is uh, 4 into 9 square divided by 2 into 32.2 so this is 5.03 so that equation 1 equals to 5.03 minus the work done due to the spring force so minus 10 s minus 14 and this will be equal to 0 so now if i further simplify this is 5.03 minus 10 s plus 14 this is equal to 0 or uh, we can say that minus 10 s equals to minus 14 this will become minus and this will also become minus so this is minus uh, 5.03 so minus 14 uh, minus 5.03 so this will become minus 19.03 so minus 19.03 and if I divide it, the minus sign will cancel out and this will become 1.903 feet. So the unstretched length of the spring 
comes out to be 1.903 feet. So this is 1.903 feet. So this is the solution of this particular problem. Hit the like button if it helps in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Dynamics.